Today, we are at Brookside Park at the Rose Bowl for the 26th annual Wiggle Waggle Walk and Run uh, supporting Pasadena Humane. Wiggle Waggle Walk is our biggest fundraiser of the year. People bring their dogs, have a great walk around the Rose Bowl, and spend some time hanging out with us afterwards. We have demonstrations, we have a doggy costume contest. And the great news is all of the money raised immediately helps the animals in our community. We have a three mile walk around the whole Rose Bowl loop. There's actually a 5K fun run. And then there's also a one mile loop for you know older dogs or short leg dogs or people who just want to get back here to the event as quickly as possible, which I totally understand. So as of the other day, we had nearly a thousand online registered participants. There's always a ton day of who are waiting to make sure we have this beautiful weather. So we'll have probably over a thousand just by looking around hundreds and hundreds of dogs. We have so many great vendors, all animal related, of course. We have things for sale, just tons of information booths about the programs and services that we provide at the shelter. You know, we've been in the community for well, 120 odd years now, and really being a resource for anything animal related. So if you find an injured bird, if you find a stray dog, if you need vaccines for your cat. We're there to support the people in our community. And so many shelters are just like us. You know, they're small, they are doing a very specific service for, for the community, and they, they all need our support. And so even if you don't live in our area and you're seeing this, go to your local shelter, support them, because what they're doing is helping the animals in, in our world, in our community. We have so many programs that are funded through this and all of our other fundraising events. Um, some of my favorites are our Helping Paws program, which helps people who have pets to keep them in their homes. So providing pet food, vet expenses, shots, spay and neuter, all that good stuff. Our kids programs, um, so if you have kids who have, you know, want something to do after school related to animals, hit us up so many other things, our wildlife, our foster care program, all these things that help us to help animals in our community. I and mean, it's made possible because of generous donors like, like you all. Our fundraising goal is $250,000 and we have already exceeded that. We exceeded it a couple days ago, so it's super exciting. So everything else is icing on the cake and it really just helps the animals in our care and in our community. Over the years, it's kind of grown and grown. This is actually our 20th year of doing it here at the Rose Bowl. Just like a fun thing that keeps getting better and better and bigger and bigger. And you know, I think we'll probably have a record fundraising goal this year, but also I think a number of participants. Just, it's early yet, there's still so many people signing up. It's a way for our community to kind of come together and you know, show the support for the shelter, of course, but also just say hi and see all these amazing dogs. Dogs, cats, any companion animals, they just, I mean, they bring so much to our lives, right? You know, that, that love, that bond, for me, that reason to get up and go for a walk in the morning, and you know, chance to meet our neighbors, right? Like, I, you know, especially coming out of what we've been through in the last few years where we had, we're all so isolated now, you know, having a dog was really, for me, such a way to get out in my world and, and make sure that people were still okay. I actually, I think I know more of my dogs, more of the dogs in my neighborhood than, than their people, which I think is common, you know? Like, it's something for all of us that we connect with and we bond with, but obviously brings so much joy and love to our lives.